Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. Okay, we have x minus 2 to the power 4 equals 81. Okay, let's see if there's a way I can reduce this power here. Okay, for me to reduce this power, I will have to take the square root of the left. And that is x minus 2 to the power of 4. And then we have positive or negative the square root of 81. Now 2 will go there. Okay, so we we'll have, I mean square root here will go there. And we are going to have just 2 over there. So our x minus 2 to the power of 2 now is equal to plus or minus square root of 81 is 9 okay so if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe and get more of my videos now i don't want us to take the square root of this anymore right let's expand what we have here Okay, and remember that if you have a minus b squared, this is going to be the same as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we will write this right here in the form of this. Our a squared will be x squared minus 2 times a is still x and then b is 2 then plus we have 2 squared so this will be equal to plus or minus 9 our x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to plus 9 or minus 9 but then mind you we are having two equations from here. One, the 9 is positive, and the other, this um, 9 is negative. So let's pick the case where the 9 is positive. So that means we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 9. Remember, I will still get back to this line. Now, let's bring this to the left. We now have x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 9 equals 0. Now, our x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Now, we always use our formula method. So x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is over 2 times a. Now get your a, b, c. a is the coefficient of this. b is minus 4 and c is minus 5. So our x will now be minus this negative is here. Then b itself is negative 4. Then plus or minus, we have this. b squared, that will be negative 4. In brackets, we square this. Minus 4 times 1, because a is 1. Then times minus 5. Okay, this is because our... This is because our... Our c is minus 5. So we divide all of this by 2 times 1. Now, x will be 4. Because negative, negative is positive. Plus or minus, we have one um, minus 4 squared is 16. Negative, negative will give us positive. Then 4 times 5 is 20. Now, this is divided by 2. Because 2 times 1 is 2. Now, x from here will be 4 plus or minus 
square root of 36. That is 16 plus 20. Then we divide by 2. Another thing is um, this right here is a perfect square. So we can get its square root. So our x will be 4 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6 divided by 2. And if you want to do it first, 2 can go here and the same 2 will go there. So our x is equal to 2 plus, you know, the 2 into 4 is 2. Then 2 again, the same 2 into 6 is 3. So we have 2 plus 3 or 2 minus 3. So from here now, our x will be equal to, we have 5, or 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So from here we have um, part of the solutions. So now let's continue from the equation we left out. Let's take a look at that. Okay, remember we left out this equation. We're going to pick negative from here, negative 9 on the right, and solve it again. Okay, so this is it. And um, from here, we'll say, okay, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 9 is equal to 0. So x squared minus 4x plus 13 equals 0. Now let's get the formula again. Our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So if we go ahead, our x will be minus minus 4 like we did before because of this minus 4. Then plus or minus minus 4 again squared. Then minus 4 times 1 times 13. This time around a is 1, c is 13. Then we divide by 2 times 1. So our x is 4 plus or minus. Minus 4 squared is 16. Then minus 4 times 13. That will give us 52. So write 52 here. Then we divide by 2. 2 times 1 is still 2. Okay, so our x now is equal to 4 plus or minus. Okay, so we have 16. Okay, so our x will be 4 plus or minus square root of 36 times square root of negative 1 as we divide by 2. So that our x will be 4 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6 then square root of negative 1 is i and we are dividing this by 2 so our x now will be 2 plus or minus 3i because 2 into 4 is 2 2 into 6 is 3 now this means that x is equal to 2 plus 3i or x is equal to 2 minus 3i but before this time remember we already had that our x is equal to 5 or x 